Hello, uh, my name is Garrett Maxson. Um, this is a Dragon tutorial, and today we're going to go over um, the basics of, of command creation. Um, so when we start, we're going to load up uh, Dragon. We're going to go to Profile, we're going to load up our profile. And for this, we have our tutorial profile. When this is done loading, um, we're going to pull up the command editor. So if we go to Tools, and then we go to Command Browser, this is going to be our command editor and browser. We can look through this and we can see these are the commands that come with Dragon naturally. When you first create your profile, Dragon comes with a set of commands. These are the ones that are you can edit, but there are also other hidden commands such as next variable or go to sleep or wake up that Dragon doesn't allow you to have access to to um, edit so that you don't change the way that the, the program works. Although you can create program um, commands after that, name next variable, or go to sleep, and then make your own command, and those will take precedence over the default ones that come with Dragon. Um, but that's a little bit more advanced. On the top here, uh, we can see that this is our grammar. This is basically where these commands can be used And this is the way the dragon organizes it right now We haven't made any commands So the only commands available are the global commands that come with dragon when we make one that would appear in another state depending on if we had it uh, application specific or global commands or a um, Window specific and we'll go over that in just a second so when we want to create a new command, we can either go to Tools and then Add New Command, or we can come in our Command Browser and go to Script and Add New Script. This is a My Commands Editor uh, page, and we'll go over this. My command name is what you will say when you want to call the specific command. In this case, we'll just call it a tutorial. And the description, um, let's go back to this. Training. Training is when you're training a specific command for what you're saying. So training Dragon for the specific word that you're saying. It's good habit to do this. You don't, it's not necessary to do it because you go through the initial training and Dragon learns enough about your voice to do it. But if you're using the command a lot and you want it to be very accurate, you should go through and train it. When you go through and train, it's very simple. You're just basically going to say what the command name is. I like to do it three times um, just for statistically just make it better. Um, but you can just do it once if you would like to. So we're going to just press go and then we're going to say tutorial. It's going to turn on the mic for us and it's also going to turn off the mic for us after it's done. Tutorial. 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 And then after that we click loop done. And that will save the way that we said tutorial. Description is a note for the maker or for a person reading the commands of what the command does. In this case, this is just going to be a text and graphics tutorial for a basic command. Next part is our user group. This is used for organization, um, and Dragon organizes their command browser differently in each version of it. Uh, and this group is not particularly useful in this version of Dragon. In versions 10 um, and 11, you'll have more folders that you can see, and that's when this will become important. And uh, Dragon 12, um, which is what I'm using, it's more uh, useful to organize it based on your availability, and I'll go through that in a second. But this is the availability, these are the uh, folders that are available to store each group in. So already preloaded pre with our basic profile, if we haven't set anything up, Dragon comes with those basic commands over here, and those are loaded in, into either Dragon or Samples folder um, for organization. When you come down to availability, you have three sets or three options for availability. One is global, meaning that you can use this command in any uh, program uh, that you'd like. So you can use it in Windows, you can use it in Internet Explorer, in uh, Google, in a, a media player of any kind. You can use it anywhere, it's when you call it. Application specific means that you can only use it in specific applications. So for making a command for uh, a template, we might want to make it just specifically for Word, whereas we're going to call this command. Windows specific means that you have to have a specific file. So this one's file's name is tutorial Word. When I open this, I can show you that application specific will see that Word is available. And then also, the um, the tutorial, where is it?
the tutorial um, Word specific window. That's the application is Microsoft Word. The specific window is the tutorial. So when we, if we were to select this option, this command could only be used within this file, not in any other Word files, but specifically just this tutorial Word, Word file, uh, which is not very versatile. So we're going to change this because if we want to make a template, we want to use it in many different Word files. We're going to go back to application specific and choose Microsoft Word. Um, if you want to choose another application, you can go through browse and you have to find the executable file. This is a little bit more difficult uh, to go through the file systems. Uh, it's easier just to open the window, uh, open the program, and then you can choose it. Dragon will recognize any program that's open and allow you to choose it in this application. Recognizable states is what state your microphone is. There's three states. There's microphone off, microphone sleeping, and microphone on. Um, you can leave this blank. This shouldn't really need to play with this and the default is microphone only recognize the command while microphone is on the next part is your command type there are four available command types you may not be able to always see these um, only the professional and medical versions have advanced scripting as an option and if you do have those and you don't see them here you should contact your administrator because you can turn off these options in administration options so uh, if you do want to use advanced scripting or step-by-step -step and you can't see them you call your administrator um, in this tutorial we're going to be making it text and graphics so we're going to leave that there in our name editor this is more useful when it comes to using advanced scripting not so much in any of the other ones and be, that's because of lists when you when you start using advanced scripting you, you can call list variables and that's in another tutorial but all you need to know here for right now is this is my command name and this is my command name these two will correlate so when I press tutorial 2 here that will change back over here um, but we don't need to call it tutorial 2 we're just going to call it tutorial and we go back to that that changes again too so those two are linked um, down here is our content window. This is everything we would like to have happen while we say our command tutorial. Down at the bottom here is styling features. So if we're writing things out, this is a tutorial uh, uh, command. We can style these things, this sentence down here, with either bolds, italics, underlines, the same thing you would do in any other um, word processor. And then we also have our fonts where we can change what font, size, color, script we want to do. And next to that is our alignment, center, right just effect, or right aligned, center aligned, left aligned. And after that, we also have our bullets where we can go through and make a list of things that we want to have come out. Uh, after this is a variable, and we'll go over that in advanced text and graphics tutorial. Um, and then next to that is a plain text. Plain text means you're sending nothing, no styles. So if you go through here and you style it as much as you want to, you if you press plain text, it'll only send the, the, the text that's written, none of the styling. Uh, this is useful for Word because especially with Copath, that Copath gives Word a default styling. And you won't allow it to do the styling. If you do a list on top of, if you have a list here, and then you go into Word and you create a list in there, they're gonna, they're, it's not gonna work properly. They're gonna make double lists on top of each other. So for using Word, I recommend just using your plain text um, and sending it as plain as possible, and letting your word processor change it at that point. So our command name is tutorial. Um, our application is going to be Microsoft Word. Our content that we're saying is that this is a tutorial command, and then it's in pl uh, plain text. So we're going to save this and go into Word. I'm going to show you by actually, if we go into a text document and say tutorial, it won't work in this window. Tutorial, it wrote out the free text, not the command, because it's not recognizing that the command is available in this area. And to show you even better, we'll go into command mode where it only will recognize commands. Tutorial. And nothing will be written because it's not understanding that there's <clears throat> a command that can be used there. If we come down into Word where our command is supposed to be used, we can say tutorial. Tutorial. And the command is, is able to be used because we're now inside of Word. And we can go back into normal mode where it recognizes free text and commands and also say it again. Tutorial. 
and it will recognize the um, the command along with free text. Now if we go into dictation mode only, it will only recognize what I say. It won't recognize or won't try to call a command by what I'm saying. Tutorial. There. So as far as the modes, you will want to play with these as you get farther along with your command creation. In some cases you won't want the computer to hear you say, or you won't want Dragon to hear you say any free text. You just will be wanting to call commands. Um, and in later tutorials we'll go over how to use these more usefully. But until then, um, check that you're in normal mode. If something's not functioning correctly, uh, make sure that you may are in normal mode, because in command mode you won't be able to free text. And that is the end of basic command creation. Thank you for listening.